World Food Day commemorates the date of the founding of the United Nations Food and Agriculture Organization in 1945 with the goal of raising global awareness and action for those who suffer from hunger as well as the need to ensure healthy diets for all. To commemorate this day, the Agriculture Ministry will host a CMOS fiesta under the theme Leave No One Behind, Better Production, Better Nutrition and a Better Environment for All. The event aims to encourage a shift in public habits towards an increase in the use of more locally grown crops such as CMOS by allowing people to view and purchase a variety of value-added CMOS products. Coordinator of the World Food Day activities within the Ministry of Agriculture, Philip Sidney, explains that the Ministry's strategy to address food security is critical at this time as we continue to realize an increase in food import bill. He emphasizes that CMOS remains a valuable product to St. Lucia that can help improve food and nutrition security. It's another initiative looking at ensuring that St. Lucians uh, consume more of what is produced locally. Our mantra is to eat fresh St. Lucia's best. That's our tagline in the ministry. And so this year, uh, the Department of Fisheries has focused on the production of CMOS. Uh, so there are some major areas that are growing CMOS in St. Lucia. Uh, we have the Prale, which for many, many years, and Savans Bay. And we also have little pockets like Labri and Soufre. But the, the um, Prale and Savans Bay are the main, main areas. So we have, I, have, have identified uh, farmers and producers around the island uh, invited them in that uh, CMOS Fiesta to be held you know, at Fondor Park in Denry on the 16th to ensure that we, we see the many derivatives you know, that can be derived from CMOS production. The event will feature approximately 20 CMOS processors, farmers and schools displaying products such as CMOS drinks, gels, ice creams, supplements, powders and spa products as well as the launch of the Ministry of Agriculture's very own CMOS catalogue. According to Mr. Sidney, the event promises to be a fun family day with activities for both adults and children. As you know, um, Fondo has, is known for its jazz activities over the years. And um, people are still looking forward. When you mention Fondo, people look forward to jazz. So we had to complement the activity you know, with entertainment. So since we're in Creole month, we decided to have a number of activities uh, to showcase um, entertainment in that area. We have the East Coast Band, Avot Service, the Tambo Melia Secret Band. And in the jazz section, we have, of course, our, the great Bohingson, and of course, Jab Duplessis. And we also have in the, towards the end, the really a big section we would have the Denry segment, we have Subans, we have Umpa, and then you have Calypso, t Blacks, and Reddy, and of course the big, big guy himself, DYP. The public is encouraged to come out in large numbers to partake in the CMOS Fiesta, which will take place on Sunday, October 16th, 2022, at Ford or Denry, as the Agriculture Ministry works to increase St. Lucia's food and nutrition security. From the Communications Unit of the Ministry of Agriculture, I am Anicia Antoine reporting.